Yeah. My dad like, never blends it. I'm like, dad, blend it. Do we have a 4K Whoa, camera is in this here? 4K. You have health insurance, right? I hope so. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. You should write a song with those lyrics. <laughs> Hello guys, and welcome back to Beauty Break. I'm Naz, that's Jocelyn, and that's today true. we're trying color changing foundation. Which, which is a thing. Like what? Huh? <gasps> My mind is blown. Like did anyone even know that this existed? It's gotta be magic. If it works. I don't understand. If it works is definitely the right way to look at it, but you know what, let's get started. If this stuff works, this is gonna be revolutionary because I feel like the number one thing that sucks within the makeup industry is that no one's able to find the color that matches their skin, nor do a lot of makeup products even offer a wide range of colors. I will say that is changing a lot. There is more inclusivity, especially with foundation covers, but it's not quite there yet. Like. Actually, Drew and I went yeah, and I got our that. own custom foundations made, and I think that was really cool. Oh my God, it looks so good, Josh. Does it match perfectly? Yeah, it does. Cover my whole body in this. <laughs> it was pretty good. I mean, also, I'm just like, yeah, whatever works. I also have like hyperpigmentation in my skin sometimes, really? like redness, whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's harder to match. But I am just gonna say that I don't. I will be shocked. If this I, actually works. I am an extreme skeptic right now because there's so, I mean, you and I are different colors. Yes. So like, how is this one thing? Is it one color fits all? Like, I I'm think confused. it is, which is even weirder, but hey, I, I mean, it has SPF, so let's see what happens. SPF 15, let's do it. So this is what my skin looks like right now with makeup, just a little bit. Mm. So beautiful, so Ooh. glowy. Who are you? I don't Oh my know. God, so Vogue. Ooh. And this is me with the makeup I put on today. Got a little Kylie lip Kylie. kit going on, a little highlighter. Mm -hmm. This is the color I am. Actually, I tanned, so I'm really interested to mm -hmm. see what this does because my foundation doesn't currently match. And I think if this works, that would be amazing. During the you, summer months. Right, when you go out in the sun, mm -hmm. you don't have to like buy a different foundation color or mix your foundations. You can just use this, I guess. Very true. And also, we know that you guys on YouTube, I know at least personally, are very quick to be opinionated when one's foundation does not match their face. Oh Thank my you for God. sharing. Literally, um, when people's faces don't match their necks, like I get so annoyed. But let's take off our makeup and then see if this sorcery works. Sorcery. May I have one, please? Yeah. Thank you. Um, I want to take a look at the box too. It's made in China. Okay. Um, but I feel it has, like they, they got it all figured out. They have there. directions in French, which makes me feel good because I feel okay. like French people are like classy or something. Well, French beauty products are very top of the line, especially French, Channel? French drugstore products. What? We should do a video on just French drugstore Really? Products. I'm going there tomorrow. Oh, you, wait, you're going to Paris? Yeah. What? I know, isn't that wild? I'm gonna give you a list of things to get for me. Thank you, I know, casual. It is very weird, I forgot. Okay, so this is High Def Ultra HD. It has advanced formulas invisible on 4K camera and to the naked eye. Do we have a 4K Whoa, camera in here? Whoa, is this 4K? We're a little more ratchet it than It says 4K. that this is like a professional grade product. So I'm assuming they're saying like, you can use this if you're gonna shoot real close up. And so the name of this product or the brand is TLM, right? What does that stand for? TLM, you think? And guys, it's only $7.99, so we'll link it below. I mean, honestly. Even more skeptical what? now. <laughs> it's the cost of a Subway sandwich. So Ooh. you might as well try it. I would probably buy the Subway sandwich. All right, I think my face is pretty clean. So this is what my clean face looks like. I left on my brow and my mascara, but everything else is off. Oh, I should have left on my brow since you left yours on. All right, guys. All right. This is real. This is me. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. You should write a song with those lyrics. It I sounds know. lyrical. Should we call it Camp Rock? Rock? <laughs> Um, we're just gonna have a real talk moment right now. I think from watching this show a lot recently, when we're supposed to look ratch and we do look ratch in person, we actually look great because we have the best lighting in Hollywood in this room that just like blows us out. There are also for sure filters happening on these cameras or some sort of sorcery that I actually like, but it yeah, might not got, make us look relatable enough. We got Beyonce style lighting up in here. <laughs> do so I'm just gonna tell you the truth I look tired my face looks like it needs a nap but maybe on these cameras it doesn't I don't know for the record Jocelyn is speaking for herself like I actually look this great um, you do yeah, you do time. that <laughs> is true <laughs> can we okay. look at this so Let's now start. it's 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 like it's like Casper white supposedly. wait is that the color or is that just the packaging I don't know okay let's open this thing up 
TLM Foundation color changing. Let's see what color this is. Well, do do do. <laughs> There we go. Wait, it's like white paint. It's white. This is so weird. Let's no, see. I'm so skeptical. There is no way this Look is going to work. Look at this, <laughs> I was going to say like something. There's like little black beads in there. Do you see it? What like is little that? bursts. I bet that's yeah. the color. I bet that's where the pigment is. Okay, here I go, guys. I'm going to mix this up and just put it on like so. It, I feel like I'm just putting sunscreen on and the texture is very similar to Well, because the, can you feel the beads? There's like little pigment beads in there. Yeah, it reminds me of like vanilla bean ice cream. Ooh. Like what are the beans in vanilla bean ice cream? Vanilla I bean? I think vanilla bean. Vanilla's vanilla a bean? Vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah, they look like coffee beans. I Don't thought vanillas were like little sticks, you know? I didn't know they were a bean. Those are cinnamon, right? Oh. I don't do cooking. Like, let's be real. Well, do I look tan? It definitely still looks white from here. I look like my dad on the cruise vacation we just went on. My dad like never blends it. I'm like, dad, blend it. He just like sticks it on his face and then he goes on his day. But that's I'm like, the beauty of being a dad. You're just like, who cares? I'm like, dad, this is not a look. Like you're representing me. Okay, so I, this is a little hard to blend in. I do feel like it is the same consistency as sunscreen. Like, and I feel like I really, you oh, gotta really, that? really blend. What do you think? What is that? Just like a random. I don't. Why is that orange, Joss? You have health insurance, right? I hope so. Okay, guys, this is just weird. I just feel like I have a veil of like white sunscreen on my face. I can you guys tell with our non 4K camera? <laughs> it feels like a primer to me. Yeah, like that's, that's what you would use it for. That's a perfect way to describe this. But it's not blend. Is yours blending well? I mean, I think it looks pretty white. This looks white. It doesn't look like it's. Oh wait, does it take time, guys? Maybe this is like a maybe, three hour long situation. Maybe it's like Chef Boyer de Ravioli. Maybe we gotta wait like ten minutes. Okay, so you know the beads I mentioned earlier that I saw. Mm -hmm. Supposedly those are like shade sensing. Like they just know they can like read. That is, I'm listen. The technology, I tell you. Respect ya. to the people. Listen, I would recommend this. putting this on if you're maybe dating in the dark. This does have sunscreen in it, which I will give them kudos for, but it looks like I'm just wearing sunscreen. And it smells like sunscreen. The shade has not sensed my face. No. I think maybe our beads got a little lost along the way. There's nothing like lost beads to really ruin your day. I could say something else right now, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> this feels heavy and sticky on my face. It's actual sunscreen. Like, I really feel like it's just sunscreen on my face. Yeah, it just feels sticky, kind of. Like, it's not, fi there's no, like, matte finish. Like, it's not, and I like to look shiny, like, and very, like, moisturized and hydrated. Like, borderline slick, but this, you could feel it. It's weird. This is a no from me, dog. Dude, you gotta love dogs, right? So, compared to my regular foundation, which actually blends in my face, this, I don't think, did anything. Mm, I don't feel like I have any makeup on, which it is something I'm a fan of, but like if I'm not gonna wear makeup, I'm just not gonna wear makeup, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like just go makeup free instead of putting this on. I would rather have on like a lightweight sheer sunscreen than something like stickier. Or a tinted moisturizer. Yeah. There's a lot of good tinted moisturizers out Shout there. Shout out to Laura Mercier. Love your work. Oh my God, I Hers love that amazing. one. I also love the, um, Super Goop has one. Oh, Super Goop is an amazing sunscreen so brand. So a super Huge Goop fan right of now. them. Yes. I, if you, do you look closely? I have really dry skin, so I feel like this just brings out the fact yes. that my skin's really dry. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like. It enhances my pores. It which is like, yeah. Which like, who wants to enhance I mean, their everyone pores? has pores, like I get it, but you want that more like, a lot, most people want more of like an airbrush effect, kind of, so. Except Zendaya, Zendaya has no pores. I, I feel like oh, she's not. she's on. very beautiful. Yeah. She is a beautiful woman. Um, yeah, so this TLM foundation color changing situation, it does say you're lit from within, and I do feel lit from within, but I don't know if it's from this. I think it's just from my soul. How I'm do lit, you feel? I'm lit from within from that breakfast burrito I had. Oh, damn, you had a breakfast burrito? Yeah, I'm about to poof all over the place. Oh, well, before Naz has to poof, you guys let us know, A, if you've tried this, B, if we look any different, C, if you care.
And let us know what other types of foundation you want us to try or other magical sorceries out there. Because yeah. this claims, I mean, this is claiming a lot. This is a big, bold claim. Right. And there has to be other products like this mm -hmm. out there, guys. So if you know of them, let us know in the comments what they're called because we will try them for you so you don't have to. There could literally be there could literally be a whole it. episode of all color matching, color changing products. Allegedly color changing products. So we've heard. Anyways, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. This has been amazing. But now now has to go get her poof on <laughs> and go lay out in the sun because I have sunscreen on my face. I know, I know. Thanks for watching, friends. Bye. Bye. Guess what? The next Clever Style video is right over here. Somewhere. You should click it and watch it because it's going to be great. It's and then it's gonna be great. you should subscribe. That button's somewhere. Here. Here. Have you clicked yet? It, it, it's here, so you should click it. There's not that many buttons. <laughs>